So this influencer, he goes by the name Damn It Boy, and Damn It Boy is about to make the last YouTube video he'll ever make. See, Damn It Boy has this YouTube channel with his pregnant girlfriend, this woman, Mona Lisa. And on that channel, they make family vlogs with their three-year-old, they pull pranks on each other, stuff like that. Hi, YouTube friends. It's Mommy. And Poppy. But one day, Damn It Boy gets an idea. He wants to branch out and start a second YouTube channel. But this channel, it's gonna be for the bros. It's gonna be about all the crazy stunts he wants to pull. Everything I'm gonna be showing you guys on my channel, you guys are gonna be saying, Damn It Boy. So, for his first video on this channel, he comes up with this crazy scheme. He's gonna pull a stunt where he holds a huge thick book in front of himself. Then he's gonna have Mona Lisa aim a pew pew at him and pull the trigger. Boy, what could possibly go wrong? So Damn It Boy comes to Mona Lisa and he's like, Sweetie Pie, Honey Boo, Baby Bear, I've got an idea for a video you're gonna love. I'm gonna stand here and all I need you to do is shoot this pew pew at me. And Mona Lisa's like, uh, no. But Damn It Boy doesn't want to give up. He begs and he begs, but she is just not feeling it. So he goes out and he tests this stunt on another book. And then he shows the book to her and he's like, look, the bullet didn't go all the way through. I'll be fine. And this begging goes on for about two months. And finally, Mona Lisa gives in. And she agrees to do it, but she's really not happy about it. She even tweets, me and Dammit Boy are probably gonna shoot one of the most dangerous videos ever. His idea, not mine. So then, one summer day, when the time is right, the couple gets ready to film the stunt. And they set up two cameras to capture all the action. And allegedly, like 30 people show up to watch the whole thing go down. Even their three-year-old daughter is there watching. So Dammit Boy's like, okay, let's do this. And he knows this is risky. I mean, that's the whole point. I'm pretty much ready to go to heaven right now. If I die, I'll be ready for Jesus. So the crowd goes silent as Mona Lisa brings out the pew pew. And damn it, boy, he gets the book ready. The thickest book he could find. A hardcover encyclopedia. And damn it, boy, actually marked on it exactly where she's supposed to hit. This is a real photo of the book. So Mona Lisa takes the loaded pew pew and she aims it right at Dammit Boy's chest where the encyclopedia is. But here's the thing though, that pew pew she's holding, that ain't no regular pew pew. It's a 50 caliber Desert Eagle, a rather powerful firearm. And the full plan is to fire it from about one foot away. So anyway, Mona Lisa takes the Desert Eagle and she lifts it up and she aims it right at Dammit Boy's chest and she pulls the trigger. And that bullet hits exactly where it's supposed to, right in the chest. And there's a long pause from the crowd watching. Something's definitely wrong. Damn it, boy looks down and he's like, oh shit. And he sees that the bullet has gone through the book and into his chest. And Mona Lisa knows this is bad. I mean, he's hurt. So she runs into the house and she calls 911 and she's like, I accidentally shot my boyfriend. And paramedics, they rush to the scene, but unfortunately it's too late. The 50 caliber bullet was too much. And damn it, boy doesn't make it. So they arrest Mona Lisa, here's her mugshot, they charge her with second degree manslaughter, she takes a plea deal, and she's sentenced to six months in jail, and about three months of that is spent on house arrest. But here's the fascinating thing though. This all happened many years ago, when Mona Lisa was only 19. And now she served her time and she's out. And a lot of years have passed and she's an adult now. And she's back to making videos again. And it seems like she's really bounced back, like she's healed from a lot of her trauma. I mean, at least it appears that way. And good for her. I mean, this had to have been a horrible situation. I mean, we love a redemption queen. So, shout out to growing up.